Hi. In this video, I'd like to talk just a little bit about making friends in retirement. This is a very important part of your retirement as far as your happiness goes. Now, I'm sure that you can remember at some time in your life, you will have started in a new job. And quite likely in that new job, you never knew anybody. You went along to your place of employment. You were shown around by somebody. You were introduced to people. You could barely remember all of the names of the people you were introduced to. And you felt quite uncomfortable for a while. Will they accept me? Will I fit in here? Will I like the job? What do I need to learn, etc., etc. But eventually, eventually you did fit into the job. You made particular friends. You knew the routine and so forth. It's the bit the same when you retire. When you walk out of your workplace for the last time, as I did way back in 1995, and here I am 28 years later, still retired, and I'm thinking to myself, how did I make friends, new friends, when I retired? Well, in a way, I was fortunate because I already belonged to a couple of organisations in which I had friends which had nothing to do with my work. And they were Toastmasters International. And I was joining at that time the Storytellers, the Australian Storytellers Guild. So I had friends in these two organisations. But mostly, most people will not have that. You'll go into retirement and you won't know anyone. Now, in the early stages of retirement, in what they call the youth of retirement, the go-go years, the years when you have your most energy, this is the time to get out and find those friends. Because the older you get, the more you will restrict yourself and, and where, in, as far as your places to go, go. When you just retire, you've still got the energy of youth, so to speak, the, in, the energy of youthful retirement age. And that's the time that if you look around, you'll find there are lots and lots of organisations that you can join. In Australia, there are probus clubs. And in your own country, wherever you live, there are probably historical societies, different specialist groups, um, retiree organisations, perhaps in the field in which you worked, that you could join. All of this apart from your normal so-called, you might <laughs> you'd laugh at the fact, you, don't, you can't play golf every day, you can't go fishing every day, and you won't be in these organisations every day. But if you join a few organisations and meet new friends, when you put up your calendar on the wall at the beginning of the year, and fill in all the slots of things that you have to attend, you'll be surprised at just how occupied you are in retirement. And don't for a moment think that you need a lot of money. You can join these organisations, and they usually have an annual fee, which is quite moderate, very cheap in many instances, and in those organisations, there are often sub-organisations, such as the walking group, the golfing group, the tennis group, the group that goes to the live plays, etc., etc. Once you join these organisations, you do make friends, and they're all around your same age. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Many, many retirees. Some older, you might be, for example, in your late 50s, early 60s. There are people going all the way up to 90. 
Now the point is you will lose some of these friends over time. Time just takes them away from us as we slowly climb up through the ranks of the agent. But you can be in an organisation for a long, long time and make many, many close friends. As I said, I was in Probus clubs. I was in the, the University of the Third Age. All retirees. Every year we would go away on a week's holiday. The whole group in a bus, a big bus which would take 40 people. Tour around the place. All stay in the same motel. Have terrific times. Such camaraderie. You can have that in retirement. But it's up to you. You have to find the friends. It's like that time when you went into the workplace for the first time. You might have been introduced around. This time you go in and introduce yourself around. You will find that you will make good close friends. Really dear friends. And you'll be so glad that you did. Do it as soon as you can after you retire. I was in Toastmasters International and in those early years, in fact up until only three years ago, I would go to all of their annual conferences. I was actually a speaker at many of them. I went interstate in Australia. I went to South Australia. I live in New South Wales. I went to South Australia. I went to Queensland. I went across to New Zealand. I went up to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. I went to Hong Kong. None of this cost a fortune. Just a three or four day visit. And attended the conferences and really enjoyed it. You can do this sort of thing too. In your own field. In what you love to do. But making friends in retirement. It's so essential. Don't sit lonely at home, moping. Get out there while you still have the energy. You'll be so glad you did. I know I am, and I'm still enjoying the benefits. You can too.